Isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Alvin Barcelona at kayo ay manonood ng The Feast Light. Ang The Feast ay isang pagtitipon ng Light of Jesus Family na pinasimulan ni Brother Bo Sanchez. Ito ay nagaganap sa lahat ng sulok ng bansa at sa buong mundo kung saan may pagtitipon sa pangalan ni Jesus at nakakaranas ng pag-ibig, ng pag-asa at pagpapalalim ng pananampalataya na maaari nyo rin maranasan at gawin pagkatapos yung manood sa pagbabahaginan o sharing ninyong magkakasama gamit ang mga reflection guides na ibibigay pagkatapos ng talk na inyong mapapanood. Simulan na natin ang ating feast sa ating panalangin. Sa ngala ng Ma, at ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Sa araw na ito, tinatanggap ko ang pag-ibig ng Diyos para sa akin. Sa araw na ito, ako ay nagbubukas sa hindi masukat, walang hanggan at naguumapaw ng kasaganaan ng Diyos sa buong sang nilikha. Sa araw na ito, ako ay nagbubukas sa biyaya, kagalingan at himala ng Diyos. Sa araw na ito, ako ay nagbubukas sa salita ng Diyos upang ako ay maging kahalintulad ni Jesus araw-araw. Sa araw na ito, aking itinatanghal na ako ay mahal ng Diyos. Ako ay lingkod ng Diyos. Ako ay makapangyarihan kampiyon ng Diyos. At dahil ako ay pinagpala, pinagpapala ko ang mundo sa ngalan ni Jesus. Amen. Sa ngalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. We're still in our ongoing series, Side A, Side B. For our talk 11, would you believe that? Our talk title is Stumbling Blocks and Crippled lives. Ayan. So, uh, bakit kaya yun ang title? Malalaman natin, no? In the next coming, ayan, uh, moments, no? And of course, no? Brother uh, Tony will be back still to finish this strong, but I'm just starting it off for all of you guys. This is our one big message. God made you an influencer. Can you say that after me? God made me an influencer. What? Talaga? <laughs> Ako? Influencer? Well, of course, if you're going to look into the standards of the world, baka isipin mo, Nako, hindi naman ako sikat, hindi naman uh, nagbabiral yung mga post ko, wala nga pumapansin, scene zone nga, no? <laughs> at nagtatampo ka pa, no? uh, baka nga puro rants pa ang ginagawa natin. So, paano yun? No? Sige, at least na uh, hayaan natin na uh, uh, maintindihan natin yan no? in the next coming um things that we'll be sharing with you. But just letting you know, no, maraming mga bagong trabaho na talagang uh, dati wala, pero ngayon meron na. Ayan, if we can show that again. No? So ngayon may mga trabaho na such as app developers and designers. Kaya di ba, we are into the mobile no, uh, businesses, talagang technology, yung advancement, sobrang bilis. And then we have here as well, ayan, mga virtual assistants and social media managers. Dati wala namang ganyan mga trabaho pero ngayon because of the hyper online, no, the digital economy, talagang we need more of this and maybe some of you, you're already involved, no? Na talaga ba coach JC pwede kang kumita nang hindi lang nasasayang yung oras mo sa social media but you can actually use it, no? Uh, by you managing the accounts of other people. Yes, no? And then meron pa ito mga podcasters, vloggers and content creators. Because uh, it's uh, really the future, no? Yung storytelling, tuli-tuli lang. Sabi nga raw na hindi raw storytelling. Story selling na raw. And uh, there are a lot of mediums. Yung iba, video. Yung iba, uh, audio, no? Ang pinakamahalaga may mensahe pa rin, no? So, ayan. Uh, I'm a content creator, sabi ni, nga, ni uh, Brother Tony kanina. And I am really, no? Uh, seeing na talagang there's a lot of people who are jumping into this industry. Tapos, ayan, napansin nyo, dati pupunta ka ng ospital, but because of the pandemic, telemedicine doctor. No? Pwede ka na magpa-check up. Tapos, ayan, uh, true bank transfer na lang. Pwede ka na lang mag-mobile uh, transfer ng uh, ayan, uh, GCash. Pwede ganyan, no? So, maraming mga iba't ibang payment way, uh, way to all, also ayan, magbayad tayo sa mga services that people provide online, such as doctors nga. And then, you also have here, ayan, mga blockchain analysts. Wow, ano yun? So, ito po yung mga naririnig yung mga cryptocurrency, mga Bitcoin. Ako, meron pa palang mga ganyan. Tapos, meron rin, no? Na mga forex at stock traders, no? My wife, Milen, is uh, actually into that, no? And uh, I'm seeing her grow and uh, that's something that she's uh, also seeing, no? Uh, talagang, it's, uh, in, in, ito na po, no? hindi na future, eh. Ginagawa na, no? And then, we also have here, Zoom event virtual host. 
and this one is closest to me because I actually do that, no? Ayan, si Brother Tony Ren is also a host, pero pre-pandemic, di ba? Live event. Pero this time around, no? Ayan. Pero pwede pala yun na hindi ka lang ate ng mga Zoom, no? Nasa-Zoomay ka na, ayan. Nagiging zoom ka na. Pero pwede ka rin mga virtual hosting. And uh, yan lang yung ilan sa mga trabaho, no? And if you're going to take a look at it, parang dati, nung no, tinatanong tayo ng mga bata tayo with this question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Di ba? May mga ganyan tayo. Sige, feel free as well to engage in the chat box ha? kung ano yung mga sinabi nyo dati no? na mga pangarap nyo. No? Sana maging ganito ko, di ba? Sa mga bata, di ba? May iba't iba silang sagot, di ba? Yan, mga doctors, no? Gusto maging engineers. Ayan, if we can show that again, team. And uh, we also have here, ayan, uh, kumaga mga iba't ibang mga trabaho, no? Pero, um, you know, now when you ask yung mga young people, they would really say to you, gusto kong maging uh, nasa YouTube, no? gusto kong maging uh, YouTube blogger, di ba? gusto kong maging influencer. Eh dati, di ba, ang mga hiritan lang, ayan, dati po ah, sa mga maaring nakakakilala, ayan, si Sharon Cuneta, di ba, sana maging artista ko, di ba? Papa P, no? Piolo Pascual. No? Uh, pero yes, no? uh, right now, they are really uh, kid influencers. No? I don't know if you're familiar. Pag yung mga bata nanonood ng YouTube, tapos nakikita mo, no? naglalaro yung mga bata, nag, uh, kumaga, naglalaro ng mga toys, nag-unboxing. No? Would you know that, uh, would you believe that they are actually paid no? because of that? No? Kasi ang daming mga views and they're being monetized with that. So may mga ganyan na. No? Uh, siguro ang magandang tanungin natin dito, uh, when you get into that uh, influencing, no? uh, marketing, uh, are we a good no a good or bad influencer so iyan ang tanong natin sa real niya ten na iba ay magandang impluwensya sa mga tao yung nakikita sa atin no buti na lang no we're blessed because ayan brother bo sanchez no another one is the no serious scene no nas daily uh, they are people that i learn from and i look up to uh, yung kanilang social media yung kanilang mga content talagang adding value and really inspiring Pero aminin rin natin, may mga hindi rin maganda no? na mga uh, storya or sa mga content online, no? mga clickbaits no? na hindi maganda yung mensahe sa atin. Kaya careful rin tayo of what we also absorb, what we receive. We need also to protect ourselves. No? But at the same time, ayun na nga ang reflection natin. Baka mamaya tayo rin, no? uh, hindi nagiging magandang influensya. Ito, may mga ilang mga alam natin, di ba, mga nagbaviral no yung mga nagro road rage di ba daming beses na ganyan eh uh, iba't iba na talagang nagalit na buwisit ayan nag viral tapos talagang ayun dami pa mga bashing na nangyayari no and we're eating, even more adding up to it no kaya minsan talagang maiinis ka na lang no at uh, pero minsan reflect ka rin no? baka mamaya ako rin pero hindi lang nahuli eto ah hindi lang naman yung mga hindi maganda na nag viral pero eto ah may mga maganda rin O di ba? Makita natin yung mga good Samaritan natin. O di ba? Naka Spider-Man costume pa. Tapos even eh, no? yung mga pagtulong sa kapwa natin. And that that's also an opportunity that's given to us. no uh, Friends, no uh, if you're watching this right now, hindi aksidente. Kasi the Lord is challenging us. Are we a good or a bad influencer sa buhay natin? Hindi kailangan online to. Ha? Hindi kailangan sumikat ka. Pero balik ka kagad sa sarili mong tahanan, sa bahay mo. Kamusta ka naman? <laughs> Baka ngayon, di ba, you get to uh, watch no, itong ating uh, um, feast. And uh, ikaw lang nanonood. It's good naman. No? Pero you can be a good influencer by you sharing this to another person, encouraging them, or maybe tagging them in the comment section, or sharing this, di ba? And you become a blessing. Pero pwede rin naman, nanonood ka, pero pagkatapos to, nakalimutan mo na yung mga mensahe natin dito. Kaya yun, nagalit ka na dun sa inyong house helper. O kaya naman, di ba, pagka, ayan, Monday na naman, busit ka naman. So, di ba, parang there's a disconnect. And we need now to bridge that gap. My friends, no we are all powerful influencers. Yan ang pakatandaan natin. Ha? Talaga, Coach JC, again, hindi kailangan online. But we're reminded na we are capable of influencing people. Kahit isa pa yan, dalawa pa yan, lahat tayo, we get into influence people. Kaya I'm reminded eh, with this domino effect. Alam niyo ba yung domino effect? Yung talagang may isa lang na ikaw na gagawin, maybe your thoughts, your words, your actions, your decisions, it can really affect the others. And for this one, I'll be sharing you a story. No? Uh, gamer po ako at uh, nung kabataan natin, ang nialaro ko po ay Super Mario Brothers. Kaya yung mga uh, characters natin dito, ayan, nasa Super Mario World. No? Pagbigyan niyo po ako. So parang ganito yan. Ano yung domino effect na yan, Coach JC, when it comes to the power of our influence? O, parang ganito yan. Ayan. No? Uh, merong isang uh, character tayo. His name is Bowser. Pag-ising niya sa umaga, ano? 
okay naman, no? Pero parang uh, naglalakad siya dahil sa mag-aayos na siya papasok ng trabaho. Tapos biglang nakaapak siya ng ano, ng Lego <laughs> ng anak niya. Kaya yun, napaaray siya, nabwisit na siya kagad, na-irritate na siya. And because of that, no, when he went to work, ayan, talagang bad trip na siya. Tapos tamang-tama, nung nandun na siya sa trabaho niya, sa workplace niya, nandun yung kanyang assistant na sino? Si Mario. Ayun, si Mario, ready to work, to report. Tapos sabi niya, bakit ngayon lang yan? 10 a.m. na ngayon. Di ba dapat 9 a.m. pa yan? Ah, yun na, nabwisit na. Siyempre, dahil nabwisit siya, na-transfer niya yung buwisit niya kay Mario. Kaya si Mario, buwisit na buwisit rin. No? Umuwi ng bahay. At tapos, siyempre, pagod na pagod. No? After uh, a whole day work, Eto naman ngayon yung kanyang wife no na si Princess Peach oh di ba <laughs> Princess Toadstool no sabi niya sa kanya oh but ngayon ka lang oh syempre di ba parang nagtanong lang naman eh aba nagalit na sabi ni Mario ah at least ako nagtatrabaho samantalang ikaw nanonood ka lang ng ano ng K-drama <laughs> grabe na nung bat na syempre no dahil naapektuhan na yung asawa niya si Peach ano nangyari na visit na siya ayun umiyak nagdamdam nanonood lang naman ako ng K-drama eh. wala kasi akong magawa Tapos nakita niya yung anak niya naglalaro. Sabi niya, matulog na kayo. Diba? Ned, mami, gusto pa namin. No? Maglaro pa kami. Please, please, please. Ah, hindi. Matulog na kayo. Pinagalitan niya. Siyempre, yung mga bata, yung mga anak nila, nainis din. Kaya yung kanilang, ayan, alagang aso na ang pangalan ni Yoshi, o ayun, na, na, pinagbuntong na nila ng bad trip nila, nabwisit sila, no? nasipa pa nila. Tapos dahil nabwisit yung kanilang aso, ayun, <laughs> nagalit rin sa anon, sa alaga na lang si pusa no na si si Hello Kitty. <laughs> Kaya si Hello Kitty busit na busit. Friends, I'm showing to you an example of the domino effect. And you get to see na isa lang ang pinanggalingan pero ang dami naging epekto. And maybe we reflect no pagdating sa buhay natin. Oo nga no, yung aking mga iniisip, yung aking sinasabi, yung aking nararamdaman, yung aking mga behavior, actions, decisions affects the other person nakakaapekto ka, nakaka-influensya ka sa ibang tao, either for the good or for the bad. And let's say, no, let's entertain that again, no, yung story natin, no. Uh, in an alternate universe, o oh, halimbawa, good influence naman, no. Pagising sa umaga, yes! Salamat, syempre, part of that. Nag-devotional muna, nagbasa ng mga, di ba, gabay, didaki natin, nanood ng full tank ni Brother Bo Sanchez. Eh di syempre, ayan na, uh, naglalakad siya, no, papunta sa kanyang, um, di ba, pag-aayos, no, uh, maliligo na, nakatapak siya ulit ng Lego. No? Na, na, nainis siya, pero kumal mo lang siya na okay lang, nangyayari talaga. Buti na lang, no, na nakakalat ang mga laruan, ibig sabihin, no, nag enjoy yung mga anak ko, no, at nagagamit nila yung mga laruan, no, di ba? It's uh, the way you see at things, nagbago yung perspective. Tapos, syempre, kahit na ganun, ayan, excited kang pumasok sa trabaho, si Bowser, at ayun, nag-report yung assistant niya na si Mario, excited para ibigay yung trabaho, sabi niya, Sir, paumanin po, ngayon lang na ibigay ito. Oo nga eh, 9 a.m. ko pa yung expect yan, pero 10 a.m. na ngayon. So, okay lang. O, basta next time ha, pagbutihin natin. Tapos, syempre, uh, napatawad si Mario, o ni Bowser, ni Boss, o di ba? Eh, di good mood siya. Ah, pag uwi sa bahay, ayun, naghihintay ang asawa niya. Excited siyang makita. Uy, ha, miss na miss na kita. Kaya after noon, sabay silang nanood ng K-drama. O, oh, di ba? <laughs> what a way, no? To take a look at that, no? Nagbago, nagkaroon ng uh, uh, change of events, no? Tapos, syempre, good mood, no? Yung mommy at daddy, no? Yung mga bata rin, naglalaro. Sabi, mommy, gusto pa namin maglaro. O, ayun, pati yung mommy nakalaro sa kanila. O sige, basta after 10 minutes ng paglalaro natin together, ha, matulog na kayo. Siyempre, good mood yung mga bata. Nakita nila yung aso lang si Yoshi. Ayun, uh, nakipaglaro rin sila <laughs> bago sila matulog. Hanggang sa ano, dahil enjoy na enjoy yun. Enjoy na enjoy rin yung pusa kasi kitang-kita niya kung paano kasaya yung pamilya. <laughs> and friends, I just shared with you what's possible for us when we make a decision to see things differently. When we act and we make a decision to be a good influencer, unang-una sa mga tao na sa paligid nyo. And that's why when you look into these photos sa pamilya ninyo, you can become that good influencer. Tatay, nanay, ayan, mga kapatid mo, sa anak mo. At uh, that also includes, ayan, kung ikaw ay leader no, to the people that you lead no, in your organization. 
if you are into teaching, if you're looking after the next generation, ayan, shout out to our camp kwarto, yung mga kabataan natin, nakakatapos lang. No? Amazing two uh, days of uh, them coming together, di ba? As they uh, disciple one another towards the Lord. And of course, yung mga influencers nga natin, di ba? Such a great responsibility is given to us, kaya dapat, no? Ingat tayo sa mga pinopost natin kasi marami tayong followers at tinitinan nila kung anong ginagawa natin. So, friend, you cannot argue that uh, hindi ako sikat. In your own way, you are a powerful influencer. And that's why when we look into our scriptures today, ito, heads up na po kagad, ha? hindi siya yung madaling scripture. Medyo mabigat po, kaya pasintabi po kasi medyo violent ang dating. No? It will involve about mutilation. We'll talk about a bit hell. Ayan, medyo talagang matindi, parang mabigat to. Ha? Sige, ito na po. Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. And it says here, if anyone causes one of these little ones, and again, it's not pertaining to the kids, but uh, Jesus is actually addressing the disciples. He calls them little ones. Those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck to be drowned in the depths of the sea. And if you're going to imagine that, no, mas, mas okay pa raw, no, na, ayan, uh, Kumbaga, gamitin salbabida na lang para doon sa mga maari magdadala sa iba na para mapasama. No? Ganyan po ang itsura ng milestone. No? milestone no? And uh, it, it's uh, parang giling, ang giling yung bato. No? Sobrang bigat. No? Na-imagine mo parang ganyan, visually. Yan, yan, yan ang dapat mangyari doon sa mga tao. Uh, nagiging bad influence. No? And again, very strong words from the Lord. Uh, letting you know, friends, that uh, hindi lang naman si Lord yun talagang all the mushy and all the good stuff and inspirational. Kailangan rin, no? We have to also accept the truth even if it hurts. And uh, strong words, but it's also reminding us na we are given such great responsibility. Sabi nga, di ba, with great powers comes great responsibility. Hindi po ni Spider-Man yan, pero ni Uncle Ben, di ba? And here we ask the question, do you know of people who were disenchanted with their faith because of the wrong example of Christians? May mga kakilala ba kayong ganyan? Or possibly, no, baka tayo rin, no? Kaya ito, ah, I'm reminded what uh, uh, Mohandas Gandhi, no? Mahatma Gandhi said. Sabi niya, I don't reject your Christ. I love your Christ. It's just that so many of you Christians are so unlike your Christ. Wow! This is just such truth bombs, no? Pinapaalahanan tayo na, oo nga, no? Si Kristo ipinakita yung kabutihan, kagandahang loob, pagmamahal, pagpapatawad. Pero bakit sa ating mga Kristiyano, Hirap na mahira, hirap na hirap na makita yon na talagang since we call ourselves Christians then we are di ba challenged to also follow his ways. Kaya nga ito mayroong isang classic na song. I remember this no. Um, this one is from the band Yano. Ang title niya ay Banal na Aso, Santong Kabayo. So baka familiar kayo sa kanta, di ba? And uh, it it goes something like this, di ba? Kaharap ko sa jeep ang isang ale, nagrorosaryo, mata niya ay nakapikit. Pumara sa may kumbento, sa babaan lang po, sabi ng choper, kasi may nanguhuli. Muray pa rin ng murang ale, di ba? Banal na aso, santo ang kabayo, natatawa ako. Hihihihi. O di ba? Medyo kakaiba eh, kasi nagurusaryo ka, nagdarasal ka, it appears that you're religious but hmm. Biglang all of a sudden, nung na-trigger ka, ayan, trigger, di ba? Nabwisit ka na, ayan, binulyawan mo na yung tao. No? Ganun rin ba tayo sa buhay natin? O oh, yan, when we go to the second stanza, it says here, Nangangaral sa kalye ang isang lalaki, hininga ng pera ng batang pulube, pasensya na para sa, sa templo, pagkain lang po, pangkain lang po, sabi ng paslit, talaga bang di po pwede, lumipat na ang pwesto ang lalaki, banal na aso, santo ang kabayo, natatawa ako, hehehehe. At maaring, di ba, medyo yung lyrics natin strong in a song, pero we're reminded, oh nga, no? Baka mamaya we are living a double life. We are living a life that is not pleasing to the Lord. Nagpapakitang tao tayo, maybe Sundays or during the feast, madali. Pero paano naman tuwing Mondays to Saturdays? Are we able still to follow the Lord in His way? Kaya ayan. Paalala sa atin ulit, no? Lahat po tayo. And even to me, paalala po sa amin yan, no? Even your preachers. Kasi, yun na nga, baka yung mga sinasabi namin, are we also able to apply that sa aming mga buhay? 
in Matthew chapter 18, verse 7, it says here, Woe to the world because of the things that cause people to stumble. Such things must come. But woe to the person through whom they come. Yan po ang pinakamalaking paalala. Temptation is bad news, yes, but being the source of temptation is really, 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 really bad. Yan ang pinakapaalala sa atin. So, to those of you who are watching this right now, God has placed you where you are right now. Ano man ang estado mo, ano man ang pinagkakaabalahan mo, the Lord made you as an influencer. And it's a powerful reminder for us, no? Are we using our influence for good or for bad? I pray that we continue to reflect on this, my dear friends. Na, oh nga, Lord, baka nakakasawa na rin, no? Na I am becoming a, uh, a reason for people to sin. And it's about time for me now to follow you and be influenced by you. I believe yun po is a pinakamahalaga. As I, um, before I turn this over to Brother Tony, for us to be able to become an influencer to others, we should first be influenced by Jesus. Tanungin mo yung sarili mo, what's in your heart? Is Jesus there? Is Jesus in your life? Kasi kapag si Jesus ay nasa buhay mo, you will be influenced, you will be changed from the inside and even the outside. And definitely, my dear friends, you will become that influencer that the world needs right now. And friends, to continue this one, let's call Brother Tony Valenzuela. Thank you, Brother Tony. Yun. Thank you, Coach JC. Powerful start, brother. Gabe. So good, so good. Tamang tama, saktong sakto, that we have a powerful God influencer sharing to us God's word with us today, Coach JC Libiran. God bless you, brother. So friends, know that you are a powerful influencer. Why? Because God made you an influencer. Aminin natin, whether we accept it or not, we have an impact with others. The fact na tumitibok ang puso natin, the fact that humihinga tayo, we breathe every day, we live every day, the fact na gumising tayo ngay- kaninang umaga, we are awake and alive, Today, you have an impact with the people around you. Hindi na kailangan maging online, maging viral, maging sikat, kagayang binanggit ni Coach JC, no? But in your small, unique, and humble ways, influencer ka kapatid. Can you say it with me again? Put your hand over your chest and say, I'm an influencer. Yan. You're an influencer. And... Baka nagtatanong na kayo, no? How can I be an influencer? Brother Tony, paano ako magiging good influencer naman, no? Baka, baka bad influence ako na di ko alam, no? Kagayon binabanggit, binanggit ni Coach JC, baka I'm living a double life. Well, we have three practical questions for you today, no? Unang-una, this is our first practical question. Have I hurt others because of my character flaws? Yan. Lahat tayo ay hindi perfect. We all are imperfect. May mga character flaws tayo. And when Jesus was building up His church, alam niya, He was building up the church with messy people. He knew we have our character flaws talaga. He knew that we would falter. Alam niya that we would also make our mistakes, our failures, our sins. Alam niya. Kasi He created us. Di po ba? And when God created us, He knew also that in church, even in church, we would hurt each other. We would tempt one another. Talagang, kumbaga, we put ourselves in the hot situation. Parang minsan, di mo alam kung sinasadya nila o <laughs> kung alam nila, kung uh, aware ba sila. Sometimes, they're putting us on the spot, no? Uh, when, when we are tempted by others, when we are challenged by others. Pero, bago tayo matulog every day, Jesus is also inviting us to have an examination of conscience. Mahalaga po yun. We should ask ourselves. Bago, bago tayo matulog, ha? So later, mamayang gabi, bago tayo matulog, ask yourself, have I hurt others with my character flaws? Have I hurt others because I was selfish or greedy or proud or impatient? Yan. Have I hurt others? Nakakita niyo po, it's 
thinking about the others first more than the self. Hindi sinasabi ni Jesus na don't think of the self, no? But avoid from being selfish. Have I hurt others with my selfish motives? Because God is inviting us to submit our character flaws, surrender them to His transforming love and by the power of His Holy Spirit. Yan. So if you're able to identify what your character flaws is, turn them to God. And trust that He is working for you. Amen? If you believe in this, type in the comment section, God is working for me. Amen. Amen. Friends, second question. Practical question to see if you're a good or bad influencer. How do I respond when I'm hurt? Yan. How do I respond when I'm hurt? Pag nasaktan ako, how do I re react? Nagreact ba tayo or do we respond? There's a difference there. Alam nyo, hurt, the truth is, hurt people, hurt people. Di po ba? If you're hurt, gusto mo din i-hurt yung iba. Di ba? Parang gusto mong gumanti, gusto mong i-lash out, gusto mong um, i-blow out yung steam sa iba. Ang hirap na kinikimkim, di ba? So parang you have to share it, you have to blow it out to others. Most most especially, pag nandyan lang sa paligid, you just want to share and, and throw out those emotions. Pero alam natin that even with animal experts, no? sabi ng mga animal experts that the wounded animal is even more dangerous than a hungry animal. Bakit? Bakit daw? Because a wounded animal simply wants to attack back with the prey that wounded him or her. Uh, ganun. Ganun ang mga animals. They want to hurt. They want to take revenge. They want to avenge if may nag-wounds nag kanila. And tayo mga tao, if we give in to our animalistic instincts, ganun din tayo. If someone hurt us, we want to take revenge. If someone shame us, we want to shame them back. If someone put us into the hot spot na alam natin, innocent tayo, or may nag-reject, may nag-backstab, na BFF, no, BFF for the longest time, pero nag-backstab after one moment. Parang gusto natin gumante. No, that's, that's a human reaction, dear friends. But Jesus is telling us that when it's with God's family, it's completely the opposite. Just because we get hurt doesn't give us the license to hurt others in return. When Jesus tells us to break the cycle of hurt, yan. if we get hurt, Jesus is inviting us to break that cycle of hurt. Paano, Brother Tony? Ang sakit-sakit. It hurts. It's difficult. Ang bigat sa loob. I cannot forgive this person. Ah, you can love from a distance din. Jesus is telling us to help those who hurt you, to bless those who curse you, and to pray for those who hate you, and to love our enemies even if from a distance. At sa panahon ngayon, kayang-kaya natin yan dahil physical distancing, di po ba? So pray for those who have hurt you. no? And Jesus is inviting us to break the cycle of hurt. Kasi, sa totoo lang, if we continue that cycle of hurt, walang hangganan. It won't stop until you stop it first. Amen? If you believe in this, itype nyo ngayon sa comment section, I will stop the cycle of hurt with me. Yan. I will stop the cycle of hurt with me. Third practical question that we need to ask ourselves as good and God influencers. Do I cause others to soar or to stumble? Yan. No? Ito yung output na because it's si Jesus in his sa shiner na gospel reading kanina ni Coach JC is that Jesus is also telling us we have the we have the capacity to bring hell on earth or bring heaven on earth. Yes, possibly po yun. Hell is possible. Just like heaven, we can bring heaven here on earth. We can also bring hell on earth. In fact, for some people, ngayon, nabubuhay sila, na hell happens here and now. Para sa kanila, hell is here. Mas lalo those who are struggling through this pandemic and they feel hurt and they magnify that hurt and that hurt, they lash it out sa iba. 
no sa mga minamahal nila sa mga kaibigan nila sa na, namimit nilang tricycle driver no yun namimit nilang uh, uh, delivery person di ba dun nila nila lash out no and that's where hell happens here and now because of our choice choice natin yan mga kapatid an example is this an example comes from James chapter 3 verse 6 example lang po ito ha the tongue is a flame of fire tang pa lang yan ha Ibig sabihin, ang salita natin, our words have the power to hurt people. Narinig natin yung adage na yung sabi na stick and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Narinig nyo na yon. Pero sa totoo lang, yes, sticks and stones can break our physical body, but words have the power to break our spirit. Words have the power to hurt and break the heart. Words can verbally abuse a person psychologically for life. So, ingatan natin yung mga salita natin. Take care of what you speak with your words because the tongue can create hell in this world. Yan ang sinasabi ni Jesus sa ating uh, scripture reading for today. Why? No, Ang ganda ng binanggit ni Coach JC about uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Diba? Sabi ni Mahatma Gandhi din is that Be careful with what your thoughts are because they turn into your actions. And your actions turn into your behavior. And your behavior can turn into your destiny. So, ingatan natin mga thoughts natin. Even with our thoughts of anger, of pride, of lust, of selfishness, we hurt others with those words and with those thoughts. By your words and actions, you create your own heaven or hell. And because we're influencers, mga kapatid, we create heaven and hell for other people too. Because we're influencers, we create heaven and hell for other people too. Can you say it with me? Put your hand over your chest and say, I'm a God influencer. Amen? So being a God influencer, our call and invitation is to bring heaven here on earth. Hindi impyerno ha? No? Kasi talagang choice na natin kung gusto natin ang buhay natin ay langit o impyerno. Choice natin yan. How? How do we know this? From Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26 to 27. Sabi ni Lord kay Moses at sa, at sa mga Israelita, See, today I am setting before you a blessing and a curse. A blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. O well, diba, nasa atin pala yung kapangyarihan, yung power to choose blessing or a curse. Choice natin. Ang tingin kasi na when we think that God punishes us, it's actually the consequences of our actions. God allows us to go through and suffer the consequences of our actions. So hindi talaga ang Diyos ay nagpapanish. God doesn't punish. It's simply the consequences of our actions. So we need to think well. We need to reflect on our hurts that we cause others and the hurts that we cause to ourselves. Balikan natin yung scripture natin from Matthew chapter 18 verses 8 to 9. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and thrown into the fire of hell. Grabe si Jesus. Ang bigat ng mga salita niya. Talagang napaka-morbid ang dating. Pero again, disclaimer lang po, no? Jesus doesn't mean this literally. Kasi kung literal yan, nako, edi ang dami mga Kristiyano ngayon na one eye lang, isang kamay lang, isang paa lang. No? <laughs> Nag-worship tayo, umaten tayo ng feast, umaten tayo ng misa, na isang, isang mata lang, isang kamay. Nako, if we took that literally, kawawa talaga tayo. <laughs> the, the church would not be complete physically. No? What, what is Jesus telling us? Again, this is a preaching tool of Jesus sa panahon niya. Preaching tool ito for Him 
to make his point clear sa mga nakikinig sa kanila, sa kanya at mga nakikinig ngayon sa kanya. Jesus is telling us through exaggeration. The point that, hey, if you want to create heaven for yourself and for others, get ready for pain. Pulitin ko po ha. If you want to create heaven for yourself and for others, get ready for pain. Diba? Sabi ng mga mahilig mag-workout sa gym. No pain, no gain. No? Ganun din sa spiritual life natin. Why? Aminin natin, yung pagiging mabuti, pagiging mabuting tao, mabuting kristyano, mabuting anak, mabuting magulang, mabuting kapatid, no? uh, uh, a good worker, a faithful worker, a, a sincere person, mahirap. Hindi yan madali. Tama or tama? Hindi madali pag, ang pagiging mabuti. It's not easy being good. It's not easy pushing aside our selfishness. It's not easy pushing aside our pride. It's not easy pushing aside our lust, our greed, our envy. Di po ba? So in life, you can never avoid pain. Never. But you can only choose the pain of growth or the pain of regret. Which will it be? If you know that you're sacrificing so that others can grow, if others can be better because of your sacrifice, I think worth the pain po yun, no? But if you're accepting the pain that will only hurt you and others, is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's why, friends, Jesus is telling us today, especially na ngayon, in our side A, side B, nasa Gospel of Matthew chapter 18. And at this point, si Jesus, kasama ang mga disipulo at mga apostoles, papunta na sila kay, sa Jerusalem. They're on their way to Jerusalem and Jesus knows that He is going to die in the hands of the authorities. Jesus is accepting the pain for us. He is putting the pain of hell and sin on His body, on the cross, on our behalf. Kung si Jesus accepted the pain so that we can come to the Father and become who we are meant to be, He is telling us today, we are worth it. Kapatid, si Jesus ang nagsasabi sa inyo ngayon, you are worth it. You are worth the pain. You were worth the suffering that He went through. Isipin lang natin. As we come into worship, Think of one person that Jesus is inviting you to be an influence to. Because God is not calling you to be the Messiah. God is not calling you to be the Messiah. Pinadala niya na si Jesus to become the Messiah for us and save us from our sins, to carry the burden of sin and hell on His shoulders. But God is inviting us to be His messenger. Ang tanong ko lang sa inyo, mga kapatid, is this. Do you acknowledge that you need a Messiah? Or do you carry the burden on yourself alone? Do you acknowledge that you need a Messiah? Do you acknowledge that you can be His messenger? That you can be His influencer? That you can inspire others as well? Hindi kailangan mag maging viral online. Hindi kailangan maging sikat. Wherever you are, you have a circle of influence. Tayo'y manalangin sa ngala ng Ama at ang Anak ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Mahal naming Ama sa Langit, kami po ay nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat sa isa na namang pagkakataon na kami muli mong tinipon at tinawag upang makinig sa iyong salita. Ipinapanalangin ko ang lahat na ngayon natitipon sa ginanap na feast light na ito. Itinataas ko ang mga panalangin, pangangailangan at mga pangarap ng bawat isa. Para sa kanilang mga pamilya, sa kanilang mga hanap buhay, sa kanilang kalusugan, sa kagalingan ng mga may sakit, at sa ano pa mang mga kahilingan, puno ng pananalig at pananampalataya na ito ay ipagkakaloob mo sa iyong takdang panahon at pamamayaan. Nawa, patuloy ang maging pagtitipong tulad nito 
upang lalo ngang mabago ang aming mga buhay ayon sa iyong kalooban. Sa ngala ni Jesus, Amen. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo, Amen. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Huwag niyong kalimutan na regular na magtipon muli sa ating feast light at siguradong mayroong magandang mangyayari sa inyong lahat. God bless you. Sa ng